Uh, hey guys, it's me, Jesse. Welcome back to another video, and today's video is a video I never thought I'd actually have to make. Today's video is regarding a player who plays my server named Frosty, or Maddox the Tomato. You've seen him in many videos, and he got pretty popular on the videos, and he even kind of recorded his own series, and it was kind of fun. You know, it was fun to have him around. He was kind of a nice person until... Most recently, he messaged me, and he's like, "Oh, dude, fucking, I'm disliking Unturned now. I don't want to play it anymore, you know? I want to resign from the staff team. And, like, I, right before, he just started being, like, he was inactive for about three weeks, four weeks, maybe, and didn't give us any notes. The only time he messaged me saying he was getting bored of Unturned was when we were talking about demoting him and kicking him off the staff team. He messaged me, like, almost instantly. So, that way, we... I spoke to him, asked him some questions, and he confirmed that he's been online, just been pretty much ignoring me, which kind of fucking hurts, because I've done a lot for him, and... He fucking ignored me, and... If he would have just came straight up earlier that he wanted to leave the server, I would have been more fine with it. But the fact that he ignored me... Said he'd get on, never got on, and fucking invited his friends to the server, and they'd just be absolute cunts. Kind of hurt me, and it, I've been in a bad state recently, and this shit just makes it fucking worse. So, I'm gonna go into detail on what Frosty's gonna be doing. First, I'm gonna be explaining my own stories with him. Then, I'm gonna be interviewing some people on my server who have bad stories with him, too. So, Frosty, he joined the server, fuck, I don't even remember when he joined the server, but he really liked to play it. He played it, him and I became friends, started playing games outside of it, but then he applied for staff. Basic stuff, he did, he was a good staff member until we found out he abused. He didn't, at first he lied about this, acted like he didn't, but once I looked in the logs, I found out that he was actually spawning in items for his friends that he shouldn't have been. And he got banned for this. Now, since I am a kind of a nice person, I felt bad that I had to ban him. He was my friend. So I spoke to him. Him and I talked. And I unbanned him. And I let him come back. And I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have let him even apply for staff again. I let him apply for staff. And he fucking... This is when the inactivity started. He started to be really inactive. And he told me shit like, Yeah, I'll get on, Jesse. Don't worry. I'll be here for the video. And he never showed up, which really set me back on videos. That's why you haven't seen as many videos out, because he fucked up plans, and he just dodged us and ignored us completely, which kind of hurts, because I really thought he was a friend, but after all this shit, I've let him come back about three times now. Let him come back to the server. But he just uses me, honestly. He fucking, he comes back, he's a cunt, he abuses, and he fucking uses me. Like... Honestly. And me being the nice person, I'm still willing to give him another fucking chance. I shouldn't, but I'm still willing to. But, it's just fucking... I don't know if any of you have ever been used in your life, but if you ever get a sense that someone's using you, you should just cut all ties with them. Don't make the same mistakes I have, which end up costing me a lot of fucking issues. I, I've ha I haven't had the best fucking life recently, considering with my father's passing. And that shit has hit me hard. And this shit piling up really hurts, but if you're, wa if you're watching this, you fucking know that Frosty has clearly done some bad stuff. Thankfully, I have someone in my life who's helping me through this. Um, their name, if you know them, on Discord, Paper Oreo, my girlfriend. She's been helping me through this a lot, and stuff's been a bit easier recently, but stuff has also been hard. But, back to Frosty, pretty much, he used us. And he used many players on the server. He used me, acting like I would ban anyone who fucked with him. He even threatened to fucking leak people's IPs, which you'll find out when we interview people later. And he just, he fucking, like, he'd use me, and he'd say, Oh, if, if you don't do this this way, I'm gonna get Jesse to ban you, like, yeah. Anyways, guys, we're going to move into interviewing people. I'll see you guys there.
and we're back and thank you guys for sitting through that i just had to get some people together i'm going to be pulling skylar into the call now and he's going to explain what's been happening with him and frosty hey skylar um so okay. you know the recent drama going on with frosty correct uh yeah sort of yeah you mind because you told me about some stuff that happened yeah. between you and him you mind going into detail about that so uh so he uses me a lot so mm -hmm. every time i get banned well not every time but sometimes when i get banned from this server yeah um he he just uses me he just like wants me back and stuff yeah and honestly, Is... like some of the times i got banned i just honestly didn't want to come back and but, uh, he, he caused that wanted. shit correct he caused yeah. you leaving and he was just a direct cunt in general, correct? Yeah. You mind yeah. going into detail of what he's done to you to on the server that I may have so not I have known list about? a few things that he's done to me. First of all, he uh, TPA killed me one time. So one time, uh, mm -hmm. there's this one faction on the server called D Corp. Yeah, I know that. I was a, of course. I was a member of uh, it, and um, well, this was when I used to be a member of it, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they uh. Frosty uh, told me to PvP. Yeah. Me and uh, I PvP'd them and uh, he won. Yeah. And then he started just TPA killing me. Like he I after after you back. fucking after you lost, he TP'd you back to grab your stuff and you're saying he killed you, even though yeah. he. All right. All right. Um. Yeah. Do you have any more info that could maybe help uh, with? this video so this was uh when he used to run a faction called camp new hope camp new hope uh, yeah he uh i was like i don't i think you're like inactive a lot or at least partially mm -hmm. just busy with stuff mm -hmm. and uh i was like the only trial mod i think this is before Fossey got trial mod but i, I think it was player. when he was a moderator i believe no it was uh before he got trial mod yeah and um and this was when he ran new camp new hope and mm -hmm. he um and he said uh he yeah. told me to build most of the camp new hope shit yeah I, I i i did even i watched you build most of it too yeah and i just didn't even i just didn't want to build it i just only wanted to build my base but then he yeah. just like build some shit and i'm like really i'm like fucking no all right and also, uh, yeah used me to abuse like new players yeah all right um is that all uh let's see what else um he also uh constantly complains well that's on, frosty uh, he always complains i used to have a uh discord or i still have it but yeah i had this small little discord server that i've only like invited a few people to mm -hmm. and um and he just started fucking around with it. I mean, he started playing with the roles. He just started. Yeah, you told me about this. How he like fuck. He fucked with people's roles and shit. You know. All right. Well, I'm gonna move you out now, Skylar. Thanks okay. for the information. I'll, I'll see you later. Okay. All right. As you can see, that's Skylar's story. I'm gonna do a quick cut, and we're gonna interview someone else now. Alright guys, we're back, and I'm gonna be pulling in Dagger, or Shadow, you know him, obviously, he's a big character in the series, I'm gonna be pulling him into the call now, and he's gonna explain his experiences and what's happened. Alright, hey Shadow, you here? Hello. Hey, so, you know about the thing with Frosty and shit, you mind going into detail of your experiences with him, and I know you told me some stuff involving the Brotherhood too that had to do with him. If you could go yeah, into detail. I believe one of the Brotherhood members were abused by... Um, do you know which member? No, not sadly. No. Alright, um, do you know what was done though? Like... Well, I think it was because... You know, because Brotherhood are skilled in PvP, I'm mm -hmm. not gonna lie. Uh, Frosty abused his rank saying he will have them kick. Yeah. Which I find not pretty much cool at all. Yeah. But elsewhere, I don't think that it was nice of him to say that to the Yeah, because... When they're very more powerful than him. And, like, they were... I let them play the server for a amount of time. We just, we had to remove them after time, but... For Frosty to say that he'll have them kicked and shit, that's... That's kind of low. 
the other time I believe it was with you. I yeah. think you were around, but he did say stuff to Sam and Anon about rele releasing their items. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. And then the last time was just him being a dick to me, saying mm -hmm. that he will abuse his rank. This was before I even became a trial. A trial yeah. That he will kick me and ban me for life. Yeah, alright. Is that all you have? Subscribe to Jesse Game. <laughs> alright, well, thanks for your time, Dagger. I'm gonna move you out now. Alright guys, as you can see, that was Dagger Story. We're gonna do another jump cut, and I'm gonna be interviewing Sam now. Alright, see you guys then. Alright guys, um, I cannot get Sam here because he's doing some stuff currently and he's unable to be here. We can't get his story, but his story is probably going to be the same as Anon's from what I've heard so far. So, yeah, sorry we can't get Sam here, but yeah. Alright. And we're back. Alright, I'm going to be moving basically Nonak or Anon into the call now, and he's going to explain what's going on with him. Hey, Anon, you here? Oh, yeah. Alright, um, so you know the drama going on with Frosty currently, correct? Yeah. Um, you mind going into detail of what you told me earlier involving him, him, you and Sam? Because Sam isn't able to get here. Can you also tell me the stuff about Sam? Yeah, so like a couple maps ago, and on like a lot of the maps and stuff. Yeah. Especially on the East Coast map, like what mm -hmm. he did. Um, first of all, Skylar and I were in safe zone one time. Yeah. And we were just like joking around with him and stuff. And then he like threatened to like uh leak our ips and mm -hmm. then he was like about to call us the n-word and then later on i was with sam and he's not here so this is like what he told me yeah we were together doing a horde beacon yeah he and told me about he that us multiple times during the horde beacon tp killed sam a bunch was abusing his staff and then also he threatened to leak our ips and to kick us again i'm mm -hmm. not sure what it is with him and leaking our ips but he, <laughs> like on multiple times he's also threatened to leak my ip yeah and in dms he <laughs> what the what? fuck i remember this vividly a couple maps ago i pissed him off so bad he was yeah. like i was like you're not gonna leak my ip and he was like i'm gonna leak your ip unless you jerk off on live discord cam what? i'm like do you what, have the a... fuck? what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> all right um do you have do you have any photos of him saying anything towards you like in dm uh no, because back when all this stuff happened, I hadn't yeah. had my screen recording software set up yet. Yeah, but, like, are you able to scroll back in your DMs with him and, like, screenshot that? No, because I think I blocked him, and mm, I deleted my DMs. Alright, alright. Um, do you have any more info that would be helpful towards us? Alright. Do you have any more info? Uh, no, not really. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and move you out. Thank you for your time. Alright, Frosty's a nigger. <laughs> <laughs> okay! Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna move you out now. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, I'm gonna do one last cut, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that, but that's Anon for you. Alright, guys, so as you can tell with the proof against him, the witnesses, and the stories we have, Frosty isn't that good of a person. He's used us, he's manipulated us, and he's just an overall cunt in general. And he's probably going to pro message me after this video. He knows that a video is going to come out by now. But as you can see, he's not just your normal fucking cookie. You may have thought, like in the videos, yeah, everything looked fine. But remember, those videos can be scripted and not everything is shown. And I didn't really want to have to end up making this video. Um, but he just, it got to the point where he really just fucking, yeah, and I got really pissed at him when he said he was gonna just quit, because fucking, after all the shit I've done for him, and he is inactive for a fucking, like, a whole goddamn, not even a whole week, over a week, like, fucking, he just does that shit, like, honestly, it just, it pisses me off. It really does. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching, and, um, this, I just, I really had to release this in video, because if I didn't, he probably would have got off the hook with this, and would have done this to someone else. The moral of the story is, 
don't trust Frosty. He will use you, and it'll... Gosh, hey, look, I've got a fucking Arctic Night Raider. Okay, but... Yeah. He just... He used us, and... I'm not too happy that he used us. He fucking... I'm really hurt by it. The fact that he did this type of shit that... I thought I could trust him as a friend, and... I guess I couldn't trust him at all, which... Fucking sucks. This is why you can't really trust many people nowadays. Never have too many friends. You, Then shit will happen. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night.